My name is Sarah Nolan. I am the owner of Sarah Jane's Art Studio and Gathering Place. I am also a retired Marine First Sergeant. I served 20 years in the Marine Corps. I live in Emporium, and Emporium, Pennsylvania, and I got here because of a friend who recommended this area to me after I retired. As a veteran, coming into this town, these people just love veterans. And no matter who you are or what your background is though, if you want to start a small business, people are going to come out of the woodwork to support you. It is amazing how much support I've gotten from the community around here. There are just a lot of ways that you can get involved in the community. There are a lot of different volunteer opportunities and that's something that we like, we veterans like to continue to serve. Cameron County is kind of just the, it's the kind of place where you don't really need convincing. You come here, you feel the energy of the people, you feel the beauty of the, the raw natural beauty of the landscape, you feel peace and Sometimes you just need to simplify. Sometimes you just need to downsize and simplify. And then once that occurs, you can actually start to hear your own thoughts. And you can actually even get closer to your creator, get closer in your spirituality. There's something about nature and kind, genuine people that don't have ulterior motives. There's just something about that kind of atmosphere that brings just a different kind of energy. And that's what a lot of us need. I, that's what me speaking as a veteran, that's what I needed. I needed to simplify and I needed to get into what nature could provide in order to kind of start that new chapter, start that healing process and kind of figure out my new normal. And from there I was able to start with a clean slate. When I got to Cameron County, I immediately was almost confused because people were so nice. I, <laughs> I bought this fixer-upper in town, a beautiful old Victorian, and I decided, well, I don't really know what else to do with my life, so I'm just going to go ahead and restore this house. And so I started working on the house, and I would notice people kind of gathering around and kind of like watching and, and and I, I wasn't really sure what people were doing. I, I thought that they were making bets as far as when I'd fall to my death from the third story, but that, that didn't happen. And then one day this, uh, this lady who was about 90 pounds soaking wet, had to, she had to have been in her 60s or 70s. She's a friend of mine now, but she just shows up at my house with a scraper and she's like, I'm ready to work. And I didn't really know I didn't really know what to think of that because I wasn't used to it. So I was like, no, um, no, that's okay. Now I'm used to people offering me help and I, I do accept it, but that took some getting used to because people are so kind. And no, they weren't making bets about whether I'd fall to my death from the third story of my house. They were, they were really excited that I was fixing up an old place. 